हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू अनदर थे कुक वन शॉट थे गॉट ऑल हार्ट फ्रॉम वॉचिंग चौक कम बैक फ्रॉम हिज डेली वर्कआउट ऑल सिटी विद दैट अमेजिंग बॉडी ऑन डिस्प्ले ही कुडन हेल्प हिम सेल्फ वॉन्टिंग चौक टू टेक हिज सिग्नल थे ट्राइड एवरीथिंग टू इंडिकेट ही वॉन्टेड समथिंग मोर फ्रॉम चौक बट फील्ड मेजरेबली With his also bad fluttering skills, he needed to scale up and be bold. They needed that body pressed against him now, bored out of his mind. Thiang was channelizing through Jungkook's TV. He got here early because his day off and wanted to spend some much needed cuddle time with his boyfriend. So they wanted to surprise him. Jungkook himself was not even home yet. He left this morning for his classes and would return after 4:30 after he finished his gym too. Sitting at home got tang even more bored so he just got to Jungkook's house early. He had been given the key a few weeks ago so he could get and without having to wait in front of Jungkook's house every time they looked around over to the clock on the wall next to the TV to see that it was only just 3:15 p.m. he said how long would he have to wait he just wanted to see Jungkook they hadn't seen each other for a few days now with cancel cancelled events as the actors so they really needed to plan out some time together now he laid his head on the armrest of couch and just watched some stupid reality show that was on at this time on the day it was very interesting actually so before they knew he it he heard a click and the front door opened they sat up and leaned over the couch to greet jungkook with a big smile on his face his breath changed and drooled slipped past his lips after watching a very hot man walk past him not any man no he his own man jang jungkook sweat was dripping from his body and those muscles flexing on his arms and those veins on his arms and fingers standing out even more after working out jungkook had just walked in in only his sweat pants and a very very open torso they had totally forget to say hello distracted by a hot body pressing his lips they just watched jungkook walk into the Kitchen pouring himself a glass of water before gulping it down with few droplets of water dripping, slipping past his lips and traveling down his throat to his chest. Wow! Gulping hot thing flaced red from the very hot soup before him, getting all hot just from watching Jungkook drinking water. He still leaned over to the couch, resting his head in his hand to just admire the view. He didn't get to see this every day, but didn't mind it. The pressing his lips together more than imagine the way Jungkook would also be sitting doing some more activities just with him before they could dream more. Some more Jungkook suddenly turned around and looked at him, startled. By the sudden realization that there is someone here, Jungkook almost dropped his glass. Surprise! Thang said in a soft voice, a wide smile on his face, and some very red hair, which he hoped Jungkook wouldn't notice. Right now, hello to you too, baby tiger. I almost dropped my glass because of you. Jungkook clenched while putting away his glass and walking over to a couch Thang was sitting on. Thang followed him all the way with his eyes 
still fixed on his on that body those apps to die for he just wanted to run his hand all over jungkook he really needed to stop this before he got some issue over here jungkook jumped next to him on the couch and leaned in to give him a kiss on his cheeks circled his arm around thanks waist what a nice surprise from my baby jungkook said smiling up at him after kissing thanks softly on his lips thang had returned turned his body back around now leaning onto the soft kiss Sally wanting more already but this was so not him and thang was way too shy to ask for more jungkook always took the lead he could only lean in and kiss jungkook back hoping jungkook would get the signal and give him some more needed loving well jungkook did not get the signal jungkook just started talking about some how his day went he still very much only in his sweatpants did this man not know how much he affected him didn't jungkook know why he always buttoned up jungkook shirt as if at fan time, fan meetings they got hot only from that alone already jungkook was always hugging and touching him but if they wasn't so shy he would just wrap himself up in jungkook's arms all the time and rub himself all over that amazing body Thang really had to scale up here if he wanted Jungkook to know what he wanted. They would have to tell him because at this rate Jungkook would never get what he wanted. Thang was still wrapped up in Jungkook's arm, but Jungkook still was clueless about Thang's plan. Jungkook just kept on talking, and Thang loved to listen to his stories all the time. just admiring his passion for his studies and what is but right now thang wasn't focused focusing at all just watching his lips move and that jaw flex every time they wet his lips and place slowly creep crept up his neck and to his ear are you all right Jungkook asked him suddenly reaching out for Thang's forehead a startled Thang pulled away slightly um um i'm always just a bit tired that's all was what Thang came up with he mentally wanted to slap himself what he just have said what he wanted was he is stupid and you had all day to sleep jungkook asked him jokingly thank blesses some more because that was an obvious lie but jungkook just grin well i wanted to wait for you thanks said looking up through his lenses at jungkook expecting thinking this would be obvious enough for, for jungkook but no jungkook just kissed him Lightly on his lips again while grinning at him and ruffle his hair. Well, I'm here now. You got me all to yourself. Well, that's what they had planned, but at this rate, they would never ever get some loving. He was so desperately needed. How did Jungkook did do it? How did? He make him needy all the time. How did he let Jungkook know that he wanted him because he really needed help right now? And just badly telling Jungkook was so out of the question. He would die from mortification if he just said what he wanted. He and don't against Jungkook. Lean against Jungkook's shoulder to. collect some courage while junko keeps stalking his ear here i missed you you were really didn't we 
really didn't see each other that much at all in last few days. Thing mumbled in his chest. Maybe this would help. Didn't this indicate they missed his touch and wanted Jungkook to touch him all over? Ah, baby, I missed you too. Jungkook cried and kissed his hair, letting his hand fall on Thang's cheeks, lovingly leaning in. Thang also leaned in, going for a heated kiss and close, closing his eyes. Jungkook suddenly stood up and stretched his sore muscles. Thang almost fell over with the loss of his hold on Jungkook. Did this work? He looked up expectantly, waiting to be swept off his feet and made love to. I'm going to take a shower. I'm really tired from today. We can order dinner afterwards. You can choose the place to order, Jungkook said. Well, that went away. Thang just nodded to stunned to speak right now. What did he do wrong? Was he so bad at being obvious? Thang watched Jungkook walk away with a logging in his eyes. He watched that back and that torn back. He wanted to run after Jungkook and jump on him, but that's was so out of his comfort zone he could never just do that maybe someday he would do be so good at fluttering and wouldn't be embarrassed to just see it but that day was not today well it would actually have to be today because his plans didn't really work out he stood up to just walk after Janko can see it but with one step of he stopped his sinus standing in his way. What would Jungkook think of him? This is so embarrassing. But he wanted Jungkook to notice his needs. He wanted Jungkook to hold him tight and show him how much Jungkook missed him too. They had been standing there for a few minutes now contemplating what to do in a minute he would be passing around the room right now they heard the shower turn on indicating jungkook had gotten in it's now or never they closed his eyes trying to muster up all his courage and walk into the bathroom to just go for it he needed that courage jungkook had all the time he took a deep breath, opened his eyes, and walked to the bathroom door, pushing, pausing Thay nervously knocked on the door. Jungkook, can I come in? Thay said and breathed slightly. Secondly, he waited for a response, but none came. Jungkook probably didn't hear him, so Thay pushed the door open slowly. He peeked in and saw dumb figure in the shower. They blushed, blushed furiously, watching that hot open body got himself all hot and bothered. What was they doing? This was so bad. They almost wanted to walk out of the bathroom and pretend nothing happened and just order food for the both of them. But they also just wanted Jungkook walk again. On his tiptoes, he not get, to not get Jungkook to notice him too soon. He would die if Jungkook saw him now and especially if Jungkook knew what they wanted to do. He slowly pried off his shirt, but in the middle of it, when he was about to pull it over his head, he heard Jungkook talk. He struggled to see if Jungkook saw him, but his shirt was right over his eyes and face. Hey, what are you doing? Busted. He quickly pulled his shirt back over to his head as if nothing happened. He blows head separate over his whole face from embarrassment. What would he they say now? I, I, um, well, 
he looked up to see Jungkook watching him curiously. That got him to settle even more because Jungkook was completely open and hot and wet and dripping. He just stared, forgetting what he was about to say, watching those apps drip with water, gazing slowly down to the thick. Like what you see, baby? Jung Thang looked up at him, smoking Jungkook with wide eyes. He was catch again. I'm sorry, I'll go now. Thang blushed furiously, getting catch for the second time now. He was al almost at the door when suddenly he was grabbed from behind and slammed against the sink. What? Cat got your tongue? Baby tiger, you didn't want to shower with me. You were just taking off your shirt, so I thought you wanted to get in with me. Jungkook teased while leaning in, slipping his hand under Thang's shirt, teasing Thang's side with his fingers. What? I, I wasn't. I just wanted to. Thang really lost all his courage he had before going in the bathroom he they had needed that right now though because now was the time to get what he wanted they really didn't needed that boldness from jungkook if it was jungkook he would have met his point half an hour ago already they could just get into the act that way he could say what he wanted jungkook saw how he struggled with his words trying to form a straight sentence but that plus indicate that what they wanted to say was something very hard for them. Jungkook already knew what his baby wanted when Jungkook came into the house he noticed the way Thang was watching him passing pressing his lips Thang really was very obvious about what he wanted his eyes always gave away jungkook just wanted to teach him some more normally jungkook would have had he beneath him already but he wanted to see how Thang would act and have him jungkook was all was the one making the first move because he knew Thang was still such a baby at showing what he wanted. He sighed the all the time. Jungkook really liked how he was struggling on the couch with his very not obvious ways to show that he wanted Jungkook. Jungkook kept on teasing him, sitting next to him with only in his sweatpants on, so they got even more flustered and with those wide eyes Jungkook loved so much. When Jungkook decided to act like he didn't get what Thang wanted to, he decided to take a shower, hoping Thang would get the courage to go in with him but it didn't happen. Jungkook was a little disappointed at that but now that he actually had come into the bathroom and sneaking tragically to get in with Jungkook. Jungkook was overcome with pride, his baby all grown, grown up trying to make a bold move, although it was not him. Jungkook decided to he would have to help them out now. I know baby, you want me right? Jungkook whispered in his ear. The white eyes Thang gave him were enough to show he was right. What he didn't think would happen was that Thang gave up and just leaned in against his shoulder and answered, Yes, please, Jungkook. If you knew already, why did you not do anything? Thang slammed his first fist against Jungkook's chest from frustration. Now completely read from the confession he just made. Sorry baby, I wanted to see how far you would come. And this was very bold move though. 
Jungkook is marked at him looking thing up and down and finally th taking things out of sliding his hand over his torso making him even more flustered. Let's get you in the shower now. That's what you wanted, right? Jungkook got to walk to get them out of his shorts. Um, um, okay, yes. Then kept on searching, not knowing what to do. Now, they just let Jungkook take his clothes off and guide him to the shower. Jungkook getting in behind him. Then didn't know what to do. Jungkook's hands were on his hips, keeping him standing right in his in front of him, Jungkook had turned on the shower, getting both wet and warm. Come on, be bold. He encouraged himself. Deciding to go for it, he turned around swiftly and put his arms around Jungkook's neck. Going in for a hot kiss, his lips moved slowly, softly on Jungkook's, who was a bit startled, but soon gave in and kissed him back with the same intention, having the having and tasting on his puppy lips. Jungkook got a little gasp from him, kissed. Kisses were exchanged while hands were gripping at each other, both getting in action quickly and wanting each other. Thang let little cry and gaps slip past his parted lips when while Jungkook was kissing and marking down his jaw to his very sensitive neck. After they were done, was this what you wanted, baby? Jungkook whispered, kissing his neck softly. Thang could only nod and lean back against Jungkook more. He felt so tired and so now. Jungkook had to wash them both up and all while hugging his baby close to him. The aftercare was always the loveliest part. After some intense work, Jungkook loved holding his baby close. He just let himself be washed while leaning his head on Jungkook's shoulder. He wanted to be close to him. He loved Jungkook's soft careness and he so slow way to wash him completely. They stood under the spray of hot water for a bit longer before they really had to get out. Thang's legs almost came almost giving out from exhaust from exhaustion let's order some food i'm starving now jungkook smirked at the young keeping kissing the top of his head dressing him up with his clothes jungkook kept him in his arm while walking onto the living room and dropping Thayong on the couch. Thayong didn't want to let go, so Jungkook had to, or had no other choice but the sit down next to him. Immediately, Thayong cuddled up to him, resting his head on Jungkook's shoulder. I love you, Jungkook, Thayong said while Looking up into Jungkook's eyes, Jungkook could only look at his beautiful baby boy curl up next to him. I love you too, baby. He whispered back, kissing his swelling lips tenderly. Thayong blushes even redder and brushes his face in Jungkook's chest, slipping his arm around Jungkook and feeling so good with just being by the his side thing never wanted to this to stop this was how they stayed for the rest of the night out of food feeding each other and watching movie while cuddling and kissing till they fall asleep in each other's arms thing just a little proud that he got what he wanted the end Hey Ami, how was it? 
I hope you will love it and whatever you feel about this story, tell me in the comment section. See you again with another thick one shot. Till then, take care, safe, and be happy and healthy. Bye.